My name is Nathaniel Motti. My name is Sean, and uh, we're in 303. We met at the University of Colorado um, in a physics class, much like the classrooms around here. And uh, I don't know, we just immediately kind of, we had both been in like the underground hip hop scene in, in Boulder, um, and we kind of recognized each other from there. And so started, I was DJing at the time, and he was MCing, and so we just started doing that for fun. And then that led to me producing, and kind of concurrently with that, his old, Hip hop group got asked to do a show, and so we like did DJ and yeah, it was, and then we also did a couple songs together. And uh, I don't know, it just worked out like the way that we would write music was uh, it made a lot of sense. It was uh, we would just kind of it was just always fun. We just like make it in a basement or something like that and uh, just throw it up on MySpace. Uh, and it you know the songs it was kind of something we did for us and our friends and we'd play shows, but. Uh, the MySpace started picking up, we started getting a lot of people on that, and uh, from there we got a lot more shows, met our manager, played Warp Tour, so it just kind of like jumped off there, so it was, you know, I'd say the internet really helped us get to where we are.
I mean, MySpace was was kind of like when we were on it. It was at the acme of its form for bands, you know. And so, right, kind of when we got, because we we self promoted and, and did everything ourselves on MySpace, and, and then right when we started touring like officially on the Warp Tour in 2008 was when we got a MySpace feature. So I think combined with like that, the press from that feature, we were getting like half a million views a day or whatever, and then. Being on the road touring is kind of when everything. Yeah, I mean, we always we played a lot of shows. It wasn't just like we were making MySpace things. Like we were playing local shows, so we definitely and that's what we developed is like we want a good live show. We want a crazy live show. So we would do, you know, every time would be different. Like uh, for instance, one time all the opening bands like were our friends. They're opening up, and uh, we went on stage uh, after like after they played, and they were like cleaning their gear off, and we went on stage and like slayed them all with like fake swords my mom and like made, that fake. My mom Gore, made like, fake blood, yeah. like fake blood and they would like you know like yeah. it was like and then they lied dead on the stage while we did like a song over their dead bodies mm -hmm. um so that's just like standard you know it's typical theatrics. things um but yeah that's i mean we always wanted our shows to be really fun and really uh, involve everyone that was there so luckily there were people there even we still would have done it anyways but um <laughs> yeah it's, that's kind of how it started <laughs> One song into the set tonight, there's already a couple dudes with shirts off right here. Party! How you guys doing though? It's a nice night out here. Give it up for yourselves for coming out. It's good to see you guys. Lots of energy. It's awesome. We're going to have a good night. Come on, give it up. Well, uh, what do we got next? I forget. I think we got a song called Touching on My All. You got to do is put your hands up.
Hello, my name is Matt. I'm Sean, we're 303. And right now you're watching Mercer 99. You know when you said, that's so gay, you probably thought it didn't matter. Well, it mattered to me. Nine out of ten lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgendered students report being harassed at school in the last year. You don't mock race or religion. Why mock sexuality? Uh, 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 uh. Two three is our uh, three zero three is our area code in Colorado. It's a hand sign country. for it. Three zero. And then he got he got it spelled differently, tattooed on him as a kind of an homage to where we're from. And then when it came to naming our band, we were like, oh. Yeah, it was easy. I was like, what cool. crappy tattoo can we name it? No, not that. You're, you're doing a series of shows coming up in Brazil. Yeah. Um, what, what do your Brazilian fans have look to look forward to? Uh, hot guy. bodies. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> Tanned uh, flesh? Uh, Rippling Because ass. our band, not us, uh, the people play with us. Yeah, the people are... are uh, pasty white. Um, no, it's, I, I mean, we're going to do, you know, we're going to put on full shows down there and... Uh, and do a lot of, I don't, I don't know, play, I think we're going to play a lot of stuff from all of our various cities and from over the years. Um, and we, I mean, we went down there last year just to Sao Paulo and it was like amazing. It was, it was I mean, people knowing the words to every song, not just, you know, the songs that yeah. had exposure or whatever. So it's, uh, yeah, we're, we're really looking forward to it. We're going to tell you a little story. It's about how we do it back home in Colorado.
we've had the fortune of like working with friends usually, and we're um, so they're not like none of our collaborations have been forced or like imposed on us or anything like that. Just because I mean we wouldn't do that anyways. But uh, yeah. with Kesha it was funny because Kesha we wrote that song like a long time ago, My First Kiss, um, and she was actually she was working with the producer we were working with at the time, and we wanted just a, a, like a female feature and to sing that part that we'd written. She came in. Like, called Sean a little bitch, I think, within like five seconds of being there. And yeah. She said she wanted to rape me. Yeah, she wasn't exactly. <laughs> so, you know, first impressions, whatever. But, uh, no, and then Katie, we had toured with Katie for a while on, on Warp Tour, and then she took us out on the road in Europe, and we'd always wanted to work together, and just found the right time. Um, so it's fun, I mean, collaborations are cool, because it's, it's like where you kind of shatter your, your comfort zone, and it's also where you do things that you wouldn't necessarily do otherwise, and learn a lot. Plus, it's uh, it's really fun, and we've been getting more into this lately with writing with other people. But um, when you can write something, and it's not necessarily for yourself, like if you know Katie's singing it, for instance, and it's like you get to hear, you know, she has a great voice. It's like something I couldn't do. I don't have that sort of voice, you know. So I hearing those lyrics come through and her singing. You should have written really something like way raunchier. <laughs> yeah, that, if only I had. You should have written a part. Only had a time machine. During the song, she had to take her shirt off. That's, yeah, I tried, she wouldn't do it. Now I have a restraining order, so. Who's had their first kiss before here at college? I believe you. Do you do anything special to get ready for a performance? 
Uh, neck tattoos. Mostly, yeah. Tem <laughs> temporary neck tattoos. We slay the opening band. Yeah. We don't know the opening band tonight, so it's going to be kind of awkward when we kill them all. Yeah, I think we learned our lesson when we were playing with Bone Thugs in Harmony not to try and use fake swords on them. Mm -hmm. but, um, no, I don't know. Um, we, show we, uh, we warm up, warm up vocals. Uh, just kind of hang out. I mean, honestly, we play with three other guys in our band, and we just try and hang out, get a vibe, <laughs> go on stage. So. You sit with a fern in between us. <laughs> yeah. Or actually, I can't even see him right now, so this is good. It, it looks like the bush is talking. It's an old song. All you gotta do is put your hands up like this. Left, right. Shake it, shake it like you got some peg leg. Shake it, shake it like you got some peg leg. I said, boom, swagger, boom, like you got some. Your game, control the thing, and trash it. In a week, you get them jeans. We ready for cash. But I'll take your game. You're the main attraction. You're the main attraction. You're the main attraction. Hey, you guys doing all right out there? Come on. You guys have been amazing, but when I count the four, I want to see everybody dancing. Sean, we're 303. And right now you're watching Mercer 99.